Hey guys, Gokusum for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be taking on the Vermilion City Gym and the Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge. Now, before you actually do that, make sure you have a Pokemon with Cut on your team. I caught a Bellsprout over on the route above Vermilion City, so if you want to go ahead and do that and teach it Cut, you could definitely do that. Now, if you don't have Cut, you go ahead and watch my last part. Um, that'll help for sure. And also, if you don't want to, then just go to the SSN and look for the captain in there. He'll give you the HM for cut. So anyways, once you teach your Pokemon cut, come over here. Just press A on the tree and the Pokemon will cut down the tree for you. Have a little cool animation right there. So now it's time to enter the gym. Now when you enter the gym, it's going to be kind of a luck-based gym. You look through these trash cans looking for switches to open up these two electric barriers over here. So... Um, it's like a 25% chance to find the other one after you find the first one. It depends really on where you find the first switch. Like if you find the first switch here, it's around a 75-ish percent chance. Now, anyways, on a 75% chance, like a, I don't know, a uh, one third of a chance to find it. So I'm gonna go ahead and battle this trainer first before we actually look for the switches. And Sailor Dwayne. Now this. Sailor right here is gonna have two Pikachu's. I know a sailor having Pikachu's. Wouldn't you expect him to have like I don't know, um, like horses or something like that? I guess not. That's fine though. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my Ivysaur though because I feel like Robin's not gonna be able to do anything in this gym, and I have to. I'm actually switching back and forth through my Roshi and my other Pokemon because I want him to get up levels. And grinding in the grass just is so annoying. I was getting so mad about how long it was taking to actually train up this Magikarp here to get to a Gyarados. So um, we're just going to go ahead and train up like this. It's 10 times faster. So anyways, he's going to bring out another Pikachu. Uh, again, he has two level 21 Pikachus. And if you guys have a Pokemon that you want to trade up that you just caught, make sure you use this strategy. It's probably the best strategy you could use if you don't have an EXP share. And uh, you won't get an EXP share until later later on in the game, so this is like the best way to do it if you don't want to go ahead and level grind in the grass. Mostly if you have a Magikarp, it'll take forever, because Magikarp, he doesn't exactly do any damage, mostly with like any moves, because he's just a bad Pokemon in general, so unless you have Dragon Rage on it, but that's only possible to get it in uh, red, blue, and yellow from an event. Now anyways, he's going to go for a, I think that was a Thunder Wave he went for right there. He did miss his attack though, I will take that. That's what you get for paralyzing me, man. And we're going to take down his last Pokemon. So, I actually don't know if I have a Paralyzed here. I kind of want to heal up my Ivysaur before we actually go into the next battle right here. Just because I don't exactly want to be slower than the rest of the Pokemon that we're about to come up against. Okay, well, that's fine. It looks like a... Uh, we don't have a paralyzed heal, so we're gonna fight this next trainer right here. I think this is an engineer, if I'm not mistaken, and he has a level 21 Voltorb and a level 21 Magnemite. Okay, yes, it's the engineer. I can't tell really by their little sprites because some of them just look all the same, and uh, Nintendo got a little bit lazy, or Game Freak got a little bit lazy with uh, changing up the sprites there. So I'm just gonna keep using the same strategy, switching out between Roshi and Lightbulb just because again I do want to train up my Roshi up to level 20 at least then he's going to be able to level grind in the grass uh, a little more easier than normal. Um, Magikarp is probably like one of the hardest Pokemon to level up so this is probably the best strategy I could use and this is why I wanted to heal up my Ivysaur is paralyzed just because we're going to get paralyzed here and there and it might get a little bit annoying. But nevertheless, we're going to hit a Vine Whip now, and we're going to hit another one. Nice, we didn't get paralyzed. And the Voltorb's going to go down. Now, again, his second Pokemon is going to be a level 21 Magnemite. If you are having a little bit of troubles in this gym, make sure you either go into Diglett Cave, which is, le or no, it's right to Vermilion City. Go ahead and pick a Diglett, pick up a Diglett or a Doug Trio in there, and you'll go through this gym easily. Um, because... Most of these Pokemon are going to have Sonic Boom, or they're going to have like normal types, uh, normal type moves, and then they're going to have electric moves. And Diglett just resists all of those, so it's a great way to go through this gym pretty easily. Um, and we're going to get the para confused, of course. It's either we're going to get paralyzed or we're going to get confused. This is why I don't like Versi Megamites. It's so annoying. 
And they don't do any damage to you. But yeah. And another alternative, if you don't want to get a Diglett or a Dentria, you could also get a Sand Slash, which is on the route right to Vermilion City as well. So that's a very good option. And I'm actually thinking of maybe picking one up. I said I was going to pick up a Nidoran or something, but then I realized everyone uses Nidoran and uh, Nidoran female and male in their walkthroughs or playthroughs or whatever. So I don't know. I don't really want to ride the hype train on those two Pokemon. I want to change it up a bit, spice it up, and maybe get a little bit more of an interesting team. So this gentleman's right here, gentleman right here is only going to have a level 23 Pikachu. Probably the hardest trainer in the whole gym right here. Um, we're gonna switch into our light bulb again. I don't even know if light bulb will be able to take out this Pikachu. Pikachu is pretty frail, but we are pretty okay. Unless he paralyzes or tries to paralyze us again, that's that's good. But it looks like he's just gonna go for quick attacks. But Pikachu is pretty frail, so we're gonna take him out in one shot, which is quite nice. So Roshi isn't gonna go up a level. I don't even think Roshi went up a level. This is how hard it is to level up this Pokemon. Uh, that's for sure, but anyways, I'm gonna look for the switches now, and again, it's RNG based, you're not exactly gonna find the same place as me, so just keep clicking on the trash cans right here. So I found a switch, and it's most likely gonna be here, uh, it can't be here or here because I just clicked on them, so it's most likely gonna be in this one, or this one, so it's 50-50 chance, let's see if we get it. No we do not, that's fine. Um, every time you find a switch, it's always gonna be on the top on the bottom or the right or left so I'm gonna go for the right this time didn't exactly get it I might have to cut out here until I actually find these switches because every time I come to this gym it usually takes me around 10 minutes to actually find uh, the second switch or so always unlucky never choose the right choice um, I wonder if it yeah it resets every time so you do have to watch out for that I think in heart gold soul silver they changed it up uh, and maybe in gold and silver, but definitely in red, blue, and yellow. Okay, it looks like this is going to be the one. Yes, because, see, if you get that lucky, like if the switch is right here and you already chose this this trash can here and the trash can over here, it's always going to be in this trash can. So that that's super lucky that I actually got that. But anyways, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon before I actually battle the gym leader, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I healed up my Pokemon, and now it's time to challenge the gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. Now, Lieutenant Surge is an electric type gym leader, so watch out for a lot of strong, strong electric types. He's going to be running Voltorb, Pikachu, Raichu, and they're all super high level. Raichu's going to be level 24, Pikachu's going to be level 18, and Voltorb's going to be level 21. So, he's going to send out his Voltorb first. That's fine, that's easy. That's an easy kill for my light bulb right here. We are a higher level than this thing, and we also just hit super hard, so... Again, if you are having trouble with this gym, just go ahead and pick up a ground type uh, in uh, Diglett Cave or something like that, or even pick up a Sand Slash. A very good uh, choice for this gym, so if you want to sweep through this, you can definitely do that. And Sand Slash and Diglett or Doug Trio are super good Pokemon to have in the, on your team in general, so if you, you could always keep them on your team after this gym. I'd recommend doing that. So he's going to bring out his Pikachu next. And gonna go down by a critical hit. Nice, Pikachu is down. But if you swept through these two Pokemon, that's not the end of it. Raichu is his hardest Pokemon to deal with. This thing's level 24, it's gonna be hitting super hard. You have to watch out for Shockwave. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing runs Quick Attack and the most annoying move this Pokemon has, Double Team. Um, Double Team is going to raise its evasion, so you might miss it sometimes. That means your accuracy of your move slower. And Shockwave is a super strong electric type move. Now again, if you have a grass type like me, or maybe a uh, ground type, you shouldn't have too much trouble. But you're not going to be killing it in one shot unless you have ground moves. So, And you could even get paralyzed by static, which I did right there. Now he's just going to keep going for Shockwave, because that's all he knows how to do. Uh, he has nothing else to go for against my light bulb. That's what I love about grass types in this gym. But, Vine Whip is gonna miss. I think I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed right here. Because then, even if he wants to heal up, we could just go ahead and chip away at his health. I don't see us losing unless the light bulb dies, but it's a very low chance. He's gonna evade the attack again. Um, I think it's time to go for a Sleep Powder. This is gonna be the last time I'm gonna go for an attack before I heal though. Because I definitely don't want to die from a critical hit or something stupid like that. It's gonna miss. Double Team is definitely in his favor right now, so... 
Um, I'm gonna go for a potion right here. I don't want to waste my uh, hyper potions or anything just yet. A potion should do just fine. We're not gonna die from a, cr from a critical hit in two turns. And also Shockwave isn't really doing anything to us. So, I'm gonna try going for Vine Whoops now. I don't really think it's worth it going for Leech Seeds and Sleep Powders at this point. I just want to get this kill on this Raichu because... Again, if I die from a critical hit or something, which I'm not, I hope, hopefully I don't allow it to happen, then we might actually lose this game battle here. And Raichu is going to go down, we need that last hit on him, and we defeat Lieutenant Surge. Now, we are going to get the Thunder Badge from Lieutenant Surge, and all Pokemon above, I think it's level 40 or so, or 50, will obey you now. So if you had some over-over level Pokemon, then definitely you'll be able to uh, use them now, which is nice. And he doesn't give you... What was the TM? I'm pretty sure he gives us the TM. I actually want to check this out right here. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to give you Thunderbolt or Shockwave. Yeah, okay. So he gives you the TM, TM uh, 34 for Shockwave. And Shockwave is a pretty good electric move to put on your Pokemon. Um, in Gen 1, the first Gen 1, not the remakes that we're playing right now, they gave you Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure, so it's a way better move, but Shockwave, still, I recommend P teaching it to your Pikachu or any other Pokemon that can learn it. It's still a super good electric type move. So anyways, I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the comment section down below, and also give me some criti criticism, I'd really appreciate it. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with the comment,